Hello everyone. So this is a short tutorial video on a new component that we've added to the Ladybug Tools plugin in uh, LBT 1.8. And this component is called the LB Legacy Updater. If you guys have Ladybug Tools installed, you'll be able to find this under the 5 tab here, which is all meant to deal with, with versioning between different Grasshopper scripts. And you'll see it right here. It's a little, you'll have to hit the drop down to find it, but it's just here called the LB Legacy Updater. And so the reason why we're making a video dedicated just to this one component is because we know a lot of you still have legacy Ladybug and Honeybee scripts that you've been running, which at this point must be well over four years old because we haven't had a release of any legacy plugins uh, in, in at least four years. Uh, and, uh, and it's about time that you should update because uh, many of you also are updating to Rhino 8 right now. And if if you still have Legacy installed, which I have here just to just to prove a point, uh, you guys can see right if you drag and drop a Legacy component, let's say the Legacy EPW file component on the canvas, uh, you will see that it gets labeled with an old tag, uh, and that is not just true that it is very old. I mean, obviously this is from back in 2020. Um, but it's also true that, I mean, the legacy plugin has features that have not worked. Even there were some that didn't really work all that well in Rhino 7, but that by the time you get to Rhino 8 now, if you're updating to Rhino 8, you really should convert all of your legacy scripts over to the new Ladybug Tools plugin, uh, like this one here, where this one came from, and, and what this tab is for. So, uh, right, so we want to make it as easy as possible for you to update these old scripts. Uh, and at this point, practically every single legacy component has an equivalent one in Ladybug Tools. Either that or, I mean, there are only like a couple of features that are just left that, that we'll be putting into the LBT 1.9 release, but practically everything can be, uh, can be upgraded at this point. Uh, so I'm going to walk you through how to do that using this legacy updater component in this video. Uh, maybe very simply, just so you guys get a sense of the concept of this component, right? If I hover over it, it tells you that it will drop the suggested Ladybug Tools component on the canvas for every legacy component. Uh, so if I go and I just bring up a Boolean toggle here, I'll connect it to this update input of the legacy updater. And if I double click to set that to true, you'll see what it's going to do is it's going to circle the legacy component on my canvas here so that I can very clearly identify it that this is an old component on my canvas that I need to replace. Uh, and it will drop in the equivalent Ladybug Tools component on the canvas right next to it here. Uh, right, so the idea is you can run this legacy updater. It's going to at least give you all the correct components usually on your canvas, hopefully. Uh, though there are a few cases where, let's say, one component has been replaced by a couple or, uh, or sometimes, you know, some components have become completely unnecessary, which we'll cover in a second. Uh, but right, but the general idea is you can use this component. Not only could you use it to figure out that this is, okay, this is the Ladybug tool version of this component, but you can hopefully use it to update all those old legacy scripts that you still find yourself having to go and dig out of the closet every once in a while, that you can convert these all over to the latest LBT plugin. Um, so maybe just to give a sense, so this is this obviously is a component where there's a ne clear and easy one-to-one -one comparison between uh, legacy and ladybug tools. Uh, but let me just delete these and show you what happens for a case where a component has undergone a few changes since legacy, uh, and so it might just require you to to read a little message to be up to update it. So for example, we have this ladybug psychometric chart. This is a legacy component. You can see it labeled as old here. Uh, and if I were to use the legacy updater to check what is the Ladybug Tools equivalent of this component, I mean, well, you'll see actually, well, you'll see two differences. One is that the, the new <laughs> Ladybug Tools component is a lot smaller than the legacy one. I mean, they all should be a little bit smaller because we've tried to keep things more compact uh, and, you know, a little bit easier to read that way. Uh, but you'll see this one actually has a little message that comes with it. And then this message in this case says, note that the LBPMV polygon is a separate component that plots the comfort polygon, right? So what this message is trying to tell you is that in, le in legacy, this is all one huge monster component, like what you see here. Uh, and in Ladybug Tools, in the newest Ladybug Tools, we've now separated this into kind of two components, uh, right? So you see this one is just called, uh, if I hover over it, this is LB psychrometric chart. So this is just plotting a basic psychrometric chart for you. You can see it has dry bulb temperature, relative humidity, and pressure inputs, just like the legacy one. But right, if I'm going to search for, let's see, if I double click the canvas, I can bring up an LB uh, PMV comfort polygon. 
Uh, let me see. Here it is, right? And you can see that some of these other inputs, like mean radiant temperature, wind speed, these things that affect basically the plotting of a comfort polygon on the psychrometric chart, this has been pulled out into a separate component now. Uh, and you can kind of get a sense of the workflow looking at these two, right? You're supposed to take the psychrometric chart output from this component, and if you want to plot a PMV polygon on it, then you then you basically plug it into this, and then use that to set all the inputs of the comfort polygon in this. All right, so this just gives you a sense of like what to expect when using this component. Sometimes there'll be an easy one-to-one -one comparison. Other times you might just have to read this message to figure out uh, to get exactly what you want in Ladybug tools. Uh, and maybe I'll just point out a lot of the times there are good reasons why, let's say we split a, a um, component in two. I mean, one is just that, you know, sometimes it is nice to get a, a psychrometric chart and you're not interested in any comfort polygons at all. But actually, if you were to check the spot of Ladybug Tools, uh, the newest Ladybug Tools, you can see they're actually separate components for PMV Polygon and UTCI Polygon, right? So we actually put now, you know, we have different different sets of components. We expose new capabilities by splitting this into two components, right? So, I mean, hopefully this gives you a sense, too. A lot of good reasons to upgrade from legacy to Ladybug Tools, the latest Ladybug Tools. Not only is it that you're not going to... you're, you're your components won't be old, uh, but there are a lot of new capabilities we've added in with the Ladybug Tools plugin that are just simply not available in Legacy at all. Uh, so you're missing out on a lot of new cool capabilities uh, by, by not upgrading yet. Um, so, okay. So, all right. So this gives you a general sense of how this component works. Uh, let me just walk you through the rest of this video. I'm just going to walk you through the update process uh, of a given legacy file. So, for example, on our old Hydra platform that had a bunch of example files, like what you see here, uh, right, we have a bunch. The, all the Hydra examples right now are still legacy. Uh, but we have a, um, a sample here that was meant to do a shade benefit analysis. So this was evaluating where do you want shade and where you don't want it in order to make this little park bench comfortable. Um, so I'm just going to take this legacy file here. I've already got it downloaded on my machine. All right, this outdoor comfort shade benefit. And I'm going to open it up. And we're going to use this uh, legacy updater component to finish updating this script here. Okay, and it takes a second to run. Yeah, it makes me remember too. Legacy is a lot slower <laughs> than the new Ladybug Tools plugin, so this took uh, a little bit longer to open. Uh, but right, you can see all these components are old, <laughs> right? Uh, so they're all all in need of updating here. And so now, in order to update this script to Ladybug Tools, right, I'm going to go under the, the Ladybug tab. I'm going to grab the Legacy Updater, and I'm going to take my Boolean toggle, connect it up to Update. And I'm just going to double click it to true, right? And you see it's going, to, it's going to circle all of the Ladybug legacy on the canvas here, all the ones that I need to replace, uh, right? And so the idea is that these are going to have to be reconnected manually still. So we couldn't do a fully automated process. And hopefully, I mean, you get a sense of why that was the case because some of the inputs have changed so much in the component structures. Uh, but hopefully, right, it's pretty straightforward to try and do this. So, um, all right, so let's start in the upper left. You can see, uh, right, we get a little message with Ladybug, Ladybug, this component's no longer needed. And I even give you an explanation here. It's because all those core functionalities that used to live in this component that you had to drop on the canvas, now they just live with your, your installation. So, right, they live, our, so they live outside Grasshopper with your Ladybug Tools core libraries. So that's one I can just delete there. Um, all right, let's see. Moving down here, right, we got a legacy component for the weather file URL. So uh, just to show you guys the recommended way that I, I recommend reconnecting these inputs, this is a very useful shortcut that I learned, uh, which is that if you hover over the input that you want to reconnect, and then you hold down Control and then Shift, you'll see that your cursor will change to this little, like, it looks like a little undo button. But yeah, if you go, you, that allows you to then take that, that wire and you can use that to reconnect to this other component here. All right, and in this case, it's going to re-download the weather file. Uh, and Oh, it's taking a second on my machine. Okay, so that downloaded to my machine, but you guys will notice actually, so this is another thing that all these Hydra examples, they use old outdated URLs uh, for the weather files. So it's actually giving me the correct one that I should use for this weather file. So actually, I'm just going to copy and paste that to my clipboard. Actually, you know what, why don't you even, I'm just going to pull up a whole new panel in this case by doing uh, double click the canvas, double quotation marks, and then control V and enter. And you should see that it should give me basically what I need, but it still has this little two at the beginning just because of how it gets copied to the clipboard. 
So I'll just double click that and delete it. Again, these are this is probably something, hopefully a lot of your legacy scripts, you don't have to actually update the weather URL, but you may find that this is the case. But yeah, you can see now that I've connected up the correct one, I don't get that warning anymore. So I actually, okay, in this case, I have two components to delete here, uh, which are ready to go. And then let's see, okay, and now we're gonna do this new uh, Ladybug Tools 1.8 EPW component. So I already know, right, EPW file goes to EPW file, but I'm gonna use that shortcut that I just showed you to reconnect, let's see, let's go, we're gonna go climb up the inputs here. So I'll do a horizontal infrared radiation first, just doing control shift and then reconnecting the wires. I'll do that for this, oh, oops, I think I already disconnected one, but or reconnected the one incorrectly by accident, right? But uh, this is direct normal rad diffuse horizontal radiation. Uh, let's see, wind speed goes to wind speed, relative humidity, dry bulb temperature. Uh, whoops, nope, that was <laughs> connected it to the wrong one. So you, you guys will realize, like, maybe you just need to make, you know, make sure you read the inputs, like this is location, going to location. Uh, right, it's, uh, you know, there's a little, you, you kind of have to be a little bit careful when checking these out, but hopefully it's not too much effort, especially with the fact that we're dropping in the LBT component for you, and you can use that shortcut of control shift and then dragging things to reconnect things. Um, all right, so I'm going to do, I mean, most of these, it looks like there's like a good one-to-one -one replacement. They all just say legacy components. So there's a good one-to-one -one replacement for the uh, legacy and the ladybug tools one. So I'm going to go very quickly and just, you know, do move at the video at you know double speed or four times speed and just reconnect all these so you guys can see see the result here. So all right, let me do this quickly. Maybe just I came back to real time here quickly just to show you one other thing that that may have changed since Legacy. So in Legacy, right, this uh, this large component of this outdoor solar temperature adjuster had inputs for body posture, rotation angle, body location. So in this case, these have actually kind of changed a little bit. So these are all wrapped into something that we call solar body parameters, uh, which you can see is meant to take the output of uh, another component here. Uh, essentially, right? So things like, yeah, posture, rotation, angle, these are all now wrapped into a whole separate component, uh, right? So sometimes you may just need a little to, to realize this a little bit, or, or you might have to hover over some of these new inputs to know exactly how things translate. Uh, but hopefully a lot of the times things are one-to-one. -one. And honestly, in this case, I think all these, all these uh, inputs of body posture and rotation, I think actually I don't even need them at all. Like honestly, the assumptions of the new component are pretty good to begin with. Uh, so you know what, I'm actually just going to disconnect those all together. All right, so I'm going to go back to double time uh, and finish reconnecting all these other components. Okay, and that was pretty much it. That's all that was needed to update this legacy script over to Ladybug Tools. Uh, maybe just to prove that it works well with all these new reconnections. Obviously, it's always good to set toggles to true and actually test that they work. Uh, and looking over in the Rhino scene here, yeah, sure enough, I'm getting a shade benefit study. It looks a little bit different <laughs> uh, than what the original legacy screenshot uh, looked, looked like. Uh, and maybe I'll just say, explain the reason for that is that there are some things that changed on this component a little bit. So it used to be there's an input called resolution, which if you guys were watching really quickly, I kind of just deleted that input for now. Uh, this has now changed that, you know, sometimes things change names a little bit. So now we call this a time step. So this says the number of time steps per hour, which basically governs the resolution of sun vectors used for the study. Uh, so I think if I up this to maybe something like, um, well, if I up it to two time steps per hour uh, from the default of one, yeah, you can see already it's getting a little bit smoother. And maybe if I put it all the way to four, yeah, okay, now now it's looking pretty close. Uh, maybe this percent threshold, though, that's something that I can change a little bit. Yeah, okay, that's looking a little bit more like what I expect. Uh, right, it's a little bit closer to the legacy screenshot there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, so right, so hopefully this this gives you a sense, guys, right, of how you can use this uh, this legacy updater component. Uh, maybe one thing also you guys maybe saw as soon as you have used that legacy updater component to to plop in all new uh, components on your canvas, you really don't need to keep it there. So uh, always good practice to make sure you delete it after you've used it. 
Um, but hopefully this makes you, your life a lot easier updating your old legacy scripts. And hopefully when I say it's time to update, uh, <laughs> hopefully you guys uh, won't, won't have too many issues trying to do that here. Um, but of course, you know, we always try and check our discourse forum, our Ladybug Tools discourse forum. Uh, so if you guys get stuck at any point, always feel free to ask us a question on the forums there. Um, yeah, and we'll, we try and check it every day for you. So thank you again, uh, and happy updating from Legacy to Ladybug Tools.